Very nice. All right, folks, we've got, I believe, uh, three comics left. Thanks for sticking around. We'll finish this a little early, and then uh, I can start joining you guys for drinks, if you don't mind. I can't drink while I'm working. Uh, I gotta do it. it's, a, it's a discipline. It's a discipline I gotta do. All right, uh, folks, this next performer coming to the stage uh, has taken the show business expression, break a leg, literally. This guy has broken almost every bone in his body, and he's lived to tell the tale. Please give a nice round of applause for Mr. Mickey Schechter. Thank you, good evening. Who here has ever done oxycodone or Percocet? <laughs> well, I get 120 for $5. <laughs> Who wants to party? I know what you're thinking, I can't do it, it's a felony. That's what the judge said. Everyone wants to know, what happened to you? Well, I tried to teach my Thai wife how to drive. <laughs> I should have known that her only previous driving experience was a water buffalo. <laughs> what really happened was, in Thailand, we were performing a ceremony with her family, and I saw her mom was really heavy. And I said, you're not going to get fat like your mom. She kicked the shit out of me. Thank God her family stopped her until she told them what I said in Thai, and they beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Look at the bite marks! <laughs> what really happened was, I fell 75 feet off a cliff and crushed bones from my whole body. I felt like Humpty Dumpty. I felt like Rocky at the end of one of his fights. I don't know what happened. I, I was up there and now I'm down here. <laughs> Everything hurts. <laughs> Adrian! Adrian! Polly? So they rushed me to the hospital, and I ended up in a 12-hour surgery trying to save my life. Halfway through the surgery, they had to run to Home Depot and get more screws, bolts, and duct tape. It was so far down that they had to bring in extra people just to put me back together. When I was in ICU, they kept pumping morphine in me. I was so fucking high, I felt like I was on teacups for two months. I was higher than the Mars rover. And then, once I finally came down, the doctor explained to me that I'd be paralyzed from the waist down. I would never walk. Well, fuck him, I did it. Totally proud of that. But it was going to take a lot more than just my willpower. Unfortunately, there was a lot of pain to be suffered. One of the things I didn't count on was I lost my virginity to Fat Finger Don. <laughs> this man broke my behymen. If you couldn't tell by the way I walk, it still hurts. What the doctor told me was that I was going to be a paraplegic, and I understood that. Para meaning both legs, plegic meaning fucked. I thought, God, I'm going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life? And I looked at Christopher Reeves and I thought, wow, this guy pushes a wheelchair around with his mouth stick. He's really fucked. My friend calls him Darth Vader. And I'm like, Darth Vader? And he goes, I used to be famous. I was Superman. Horses are like kryptonite. I can do that one. I did meet him one time. In fact, I really needed his help. I needed him with his wheelchair to jumpstart my car. <laughs> People often try to say, oh, you know, what's going on? What happened? You know, and always trying to find out what's going on. And it doesn't really matter what the thing is, is that it happened and life goes on. But the way people treat me is just so shocking. Some people think I have Ebola. 
They walk around. Don't touch them. Don't touch him. You know, they'll pull their friends out of the way. They'll hurt each other or other ones. I hope you feel better. <laughs> you too. I was in a restaurant with my wife, and she speaks very broken English. And she came right up, looked at me, and went to her. What does he want to order? And she goes, uh, I think he wants to have a salmon and, and some, some rice. She looks at me for help, and I'm like, fuck you, you started with this. You get to deal with this now, not my problem. And the other question I get asked all the time was, when you were falling, what were you thinking? Ah! <laughs> Gee, I wonder if I made lunch. <laughs> and then, what the other most common question I get is, does your dick work? And people ask in the most weird times. I was single, I'm in a bar, talking to two ladies, I'm in my wheelchair, and one of the ladies just straight out, does your dick work? Yes, it does work. Bullshit. <laughs> Do you want to see? Yes. So I took her inside the handicap stall. I showed her what those fucking rails were for. being disabled is I never know when I'm going to fart. It's always at the worst time possible. Like now. Or when I'm getting a blowjob. Which is something I'll never do again. So sorry. You don't recover after you blast somebody in the face. It's pretty much you just gave that part of your life up. Thank you.